Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to your English lesson with me, Miss Nurul Umi Shohada. And welcome back from your holiday. I hope that all of you have a new uh, spirit to continue with your PDPR lesson. As we heard the news, we might start or go get back to school on September 1st. Okay. Hi semua. So welcome back. Let's learn something new. Okay. Uh, so this is your introduction. Today you are going to refer to page 42 for your lesson. Uh, minggu ni atau hari ni kamu akan tengok muka surat 42 untuk uh, pembelajaran bahasa Inggeris kamu. Okay, let's check out what's on the first part. Okay, as for the introduction, you are going to correct the spelling of the words below. And here are the words. There are three words here and one of it is a... <coughs> well-known desert, uh, desert the other one is an enormous river and another one is a very high mountain so you are going to correct the words uh, the spelling of these words and write the correct one in your book okay untuk uh, aktiviti pengenalan kamu kamu akan betulkan ejaan perkataan di bawah ni so ada tiga perkataan uh, salah satunya ialah uh, sebuah uh, padang pasir yang terkenal lagi satu ada satu sungai yang sangat besar dan last sekali uh, dia ada sebuah gunung yang sangat tinggi so perkataan-perkataan ni semua dia salah eja kamu kena betulkan ejaan dia ok alright now let's get to our first activity for today right uh, on page 42 just go ahead and look for number one okay untuk muka surat 42 cari nombor satu we are going to read this together all right so kita akan baca ni sama-sama as we read you can also follow along and look at the pictures on your right side okay so kita akan baca uh, nota ni sama-sama sambil baca kamu boleh tengok gambar-gambar di belah kanan kamu okay so there are like eight pictures i think two four six oh there are seven okay seven images all right so let's read this together i'll start from here what are the seven natural wonders of the world? Apakah tujuh keajaiban dunia yang semula jadi? Okay, so kalau seven wonders of the world yang lagi satu, yang manusia cipta, yang ini dia nak tanya, apa tujuh uh, keajaiban dunia tapi yang semula jadi? Semula jadi ni, uh, it happened naturally. It's created by nature. Okay, benda tu terjadi secara semula jadi. Tak ada manusia yang ukir atau gali apa-apa untuk buat benda ni. Alright? So, uh, these are the places our readers chose. So, ini ialah tempat-tempat yang pembaca dia pilih. So, this is like a um, website, we'd say. Okay, nampak macam satu website kan? Alright, number one, the Grand Canyon, USA. Sebut betul-betul, the Grand Canyon, USA. So, dekat USA ni, United States of America. Dia America lah, nama tempat tu, the Grand Canyon. Okay. Uh, dia gambar yang atas ni eh, Grand Canyon Alright, this canyon in the middle of a desert is nearly 2 kilometers deep You can go rafting down the Colorado River at the bottom of the valley Okay, dia cakap canyon ni ialah uh, dia berada di tengah-tengah padang pasir Dan kedalaman dia ialah 2 kilometer Kamu boleh pergi uh, rafting. Rafting ni macam berkayak ke apa semua naik. Anything like that lah. Dekat sungau. Sungau. <laughs> sungai Colorado. Okay. Colorado punya sungai lah. Uh, di bahagian bawah valley. Valley tu lembah. Okay. So, bila kita pergi dekat canyon ni. Dia ada sungai uh, Colorado. Dekat bahagian lembah dia tu. Kamu boleh uh, berkayak ke. Naik perahu ke. Okay. Alright. Number two we have. The Great Barrier Reef, Australia. Okay, dia cakap pasal batu karang lah. In the Pacific Ocean, near the coast of Queensland, this coral reef has over 1,500 different kinds of fish. Okay, dia cakap uh, di Lautan Pasifik berdekatan dengan bahagian uh, timur laut di Queensland. Okay. <coughs> uh, Sorry, sorry. Bahagian perairan Queensland ada apa tu? Ada uh, uh, coral reef iaitu batu karang yang 
ada lebih daripada 1500 jenis ikan yang berbeza. So dekat situ eh, coral reef tu dah hebat dah tapi yang lagi hebat ialah ada ikan yang pelbagai jenis. Ah yang dekat sini dicakap ada 1500 jenis jenis ikan yang berbeza. Alright, number 3, the Amazon rainforest, Ecuador. Okay, so Ecuador is the country and the place is the Amazon rainforest. So Amazon rainforest is the world's biggest forest. It is full of plants and animals which are disappearing as people cut trees down. Dia cakap, Amazon ni ialah hutan yang terbesar di dunia dan dia banyak sangat tumbuh-tumbuhan, haiwan-haiwan tapi semua semua ni tumbuh-tumbuhan dengan haiwan-haiwan tu makin pupus sebab manusia asyik potong atau tebang je pokok-pokok. Alright, let's move on to number 4, the Dead Sea Jordan. Alright, this is a lake of salty water which you can float in on the beach. There is a special kind of mud which people put on their bodies. <coughs> so, uh, the Dead Sea Jordan ni ialah satu tasik yang ada air dia tu sangat masin. So, you boleh jadi orang yang masuk dalam air tu dia boleh terapung. Ha, kalau kamu tengok dekat sini ada gambar dia eh. Okay, so dekat pantai tu ada sejenis lumpur yang special kind. Maksudnya jenis yang istimewa lah. Yang orang ambil lumpur tu dilumur dekat badan dia. Sebab I don't know the reason. I might know but I'm not going to share it unless I'm sure of it. So I'm not sharing. Okay, so dia letak lumpur tu dekat badan dia. Alright, so number five. Di Niagara Falls, Canada. Niagara Falls ni ialah air terjun yang nama dia Niagara terletak di Canada. At Niagara, there are three different waterfalls. About 5 million liters of water go through them every second. Dia cakap dekat Niagara Falls ni, air terjun Niagara ni terdapat tiga jenis air terjun yang berbeza. Okay, setiap saat sebanyak 5 juta liter air yang lalu dekat sungai ni. So, bayangkan every second 5 million liters of water go through them. Alright, can you imagine how big it is? Now, this is uh, the picture of Niagara Falls, yeah? This one. <clears throat> Next, we have Table Mountain, South Africa. Table Mountain, South Africa. Uh, kalau kita translate ke bahasa Melayu, gunung uh, meja terletak di Afrika Selatan ataupun South Africa. This mountain which is flat on top has steep cliffs you can climb and all kinds of wildlife. Dia cakap uh, gunung ni dia flat dekat bahagian atas. Flat tu maknanya straight je macam ni ah. Nampak tak ni gambar dia eh? Dia straight macam ni dekat atas. Tapi uh, cliff dia tu uh, apa cakap bahasa Melayu dia? Steep. Steep tu apa ah? Uh, Kalau macam tangga tu kecil-kecil je ha, Macam tu lah Susah lah nak panjat Tapi uh, dia boleh Kita boleh panjat Dan dia ada banyak sangat jenis hidupan dia You can google the image of the table mountain in South Africa But of course you need to uh, ask for your parents permission Before you google anything okay Alright <coughs> Next we have the Blue Cave, Greece. Uh, dia cakap nama gua ni gua yang berwarna biru terletak di Greece. Okay, boleh tengok gambar dia kat bawah ni if you want. Right, inside this cave on the Greek island of Castellorizo, the water is a beautiful deep blue. Okay, dia cakap dalam uh, gua ni yang terletak di kepulauan Greek, nama dia Castellorizo, Air dia sangat cantik Yang berwarna biru gelap gitu Ah, So kamu boleh tengok lah kat sini Kalau dalam buku teks gambar dia uh, Boleh lah katakan cantik Tapi kalau kamu nak google Of course kena minta uh, kebenaran parents dulu uh, You can go ahead and google it And you can see more beautiful pictures Of this um, cave Okay, Cave ialah gua Alright now uh, hopefully you did listen to it very carefully because the next part of this lesson is going to be related a lot to this um, text. Okay, so um, let's check out the second part and we are going to refer to activity number two. 
right so here you are going to copy this table into your book okay table jadual eh jadual ni kamu salin dalam buku kamu and then what you need to do with it is you are to fill in the columns with the blue words from the text in activity 1 kalau kamu tengok betul-betul dalam teks ni tadi ada perkataan yang berwarna biru nampak tak ha, banyak kan i'm not going to say each one of them because i already did uh, previously teacher tak akan translate balik sebab tadi teacher dah translate dah ha, okay so Dekat aktiviti 2, apa yang kamu kena buat ialah Dia ada dua bahagian There are two different columns Number one is land and the other one is water So what you need to do is You need to fill in the columns with words With the blue words in the text That's related to these categories Okay Kamu kena isikan uh, kolom ni dengan Perkataan-perkataan warna biru yang berkaitan dengan kategori dia For the for example, number one we have the category of land And number two the category of water So you need to fill in these columns with words from here That's related to each category Okay, so canyon Canyon ni apa? Dia uh, tanah ke air? So dia kena letak dekat kategori dia Dia dah bagi contoh eh Canyon ni ialah uh, termasuk dalam kategori tanah So you kena letak kat bawah tanah lah Kalau apa-apa yang berkaitan dengan water, letak dekat bawah kategori water. Okay? Uh, water tu dalam bahasa Melayu ni ialah air lah. Alright, activity number three. Okay. So, for this part, first and foremost, you are going to copy the instruction. Which place in the list do you most or least want to visit? Soalan dia, dia nak suruh kamu tulis dalam banyak-banyak tempat yang kita baca tadi tu, yang mana kamu rasa kamu paling nak pergi. Ah, kita tengok banyak tempat tadi kan Ada tujuh tempat Yang mana satu kamu nak pergi sangat okay? uh, Lepas tu dia juga nak tahu Yang mana tempat yang kamu rasa Paling tak nak pergi sekali okay? uh, So dekat sini dia bagi contoh Contoh ni pun kena salin uh, I'd love to visit the Dead Sea Because it's amazing okay? So ayat kamu Kamu kena tukarlah I'd love to visit the apa Because it's amazing Okay Amazing ni boleh tukar kepada beautiful, boleh tukar kepada dangerous ke, unusual ke, interesting ke. Okay, apa-apa perkataan yang kamu nak pakai. And the next one, I don't want to visit the tempat mana yang kamu tak nak tengok. Dan kenapa? Because it's um, boring, tak menarik ataupun it's dangerous or it's unusual. Boleh pilih mana-mana perkataan, okay? Okay. Kata yang kamu nak pilih tu ada bahagian dalam buku teks kamu tu yang diletak tanda look dekat situ. So you can choose the words from the list. Alright and that is all for this week's lesson. Jangan lupa hantar kerja. Yang tak hantar lagi tu boleh hantar lah. Saya tak nak eh. Tunggu sekolah buka baru nak hantar. Hantar pula kosong. Okay. You can always contact me on WhatsApp or Telegram if you have any questions. Thank you everyone. Enjoy.